In this video, we'll go through the installation of the K&M Maverick R replacement signature accent lights from WD Electronics. These lights are compatible with 2024 and newer Can-Am Maverick R models. This video is meant to be a visual companion to your printed instructions. Your instructions may have greater detail for some steps. These replacement lights are a product update to a previous turn signal kit. So if you'd like to see a more detailed installation on this machine, you can also refer to the video linked here in the top right corner. Carefully pull out on the grill to release the four mounting clips. Set the grill aside. Remove the two Torx fasteners and washers from the bottom of the grill opening. Next, remove the two Torx fasteners from each side of the tow loop surround. Remove the three 8mm bolts from the headlight cover. The top bolt on each cover has a washer installed on it. Remove the cover. Underneath the headlight cover, remove the 8mm bolt that holds down the body colored panel from the back side. Carefully pop out the body panel. Remove the 8mm bolt for the gold colored headlight adjustment screw. Next, Remove the black and blue two-pin connector for the accent light by lifting the locking tab and sliding the connector free. Carefully pop out the body-colored panel to gain access to the long T30 Torx bolt for the outer headlight mounting point. Remove the outer bolt. Carefully slide the headlight off the mounting point about one and a half inches. This will give you access to the top mounting screw for the signature light. You may remove the two metal bushings from the center rubber bushing if desired. They tend to fall out easily. Remove the top 8mm mounting bolt for the signature light on both sides. You can access this bolt from the back or in between the two panels. Be careful not to damage the headlight lenses when removing this bolt. Repeat the disassembly steps on both sides of the machine. Carefully lift the bottom corners of the front fascia over the tow loop surround on both sides to give you clearance from the radiator. There are two more 8mm bolts on each signature light that need to be removed, one at the top and one at the bottom. They are difficult to show on camera but you should be able to feel them on the back side. Remove the bolts. Make sure not to damage the radiator when removing the bolts.
carefully push the signature lights inside of the fascia from the front. Carefully remove the lights. You may need to flex the fascia slightly to remove them. Install the WD replacement signature lights into the fascia from the back side. There are two alignment tabs on the housings and a cylindrical cutout in the lens that lines up with the post on the fascia. Clip the lights into place. We recommend installing the lights with the plastic wrap installed to prevent scratches and removing the plastic after they are installed. Install all the fasteners and reassemble in reverse order. Make sure to connect the black and blue two pin to the back of each accent light. Connect the harness for the accent lights to the mating connector on the control module. Feed the wiring down underneath the dash and through the rubber firewall grommet located directly to the right of the gas pedal. Locate the wiring on the other side of the firewall and pull the slack through. Split the zip cable and route one side to each accent light, making sure to route the red wire labeled for the driver's side to the driver's side light. Follow factory wiring or the frame as closely as possible. When you reach the signature light, connect the single wire on the harness to the mating wire on the signature light. Make sure that the plastic insulation is fully covering the connection. Connect the black and blue two-pin factory connector to the back of each accent light. Secure all wiring away from any hot or moving components. Please disconnect your battery before continuing to minimize the risk of blowing fuses. There are two different styles of instrument clusters used on Maverick R models. The pinout and installation for both clusters is the same. The disassembly and removal of the instrument cluster may be slightly different. Remove the instrument cluster from your dash. Unplug the connector from the back of the instrument cluster by depressing the locking tab. Remove the white colored front cover by depressing the locking tabs on the ends of the cover. 
you may need to insert a small flat blade or pick tool into each of the side openings and lightly pull to free the cover from the housing. When holding the connector as pictured, with the bump on the connector facing up, the needed slots are both the fourth pin from the left side, both on the top and bottom rows. Remove and discard the white plastic placeholder plugs by using a small pick tool to push them from the back side out the front. Install the pin on the black wire into the top row and the pin on the red wire into the bottom row. Double check that all the pins are seated and aligned evenly before reinstalling the white front cover. Reinstall the cover and snap it down. Reconnect the plug back into the digital display and reassemble. Route the 4-pin connector on the harness to the control module and connect it to the mating connector. Most Maverick R models come with a plastic license plate mounting bracket from the factory. If equipped, the bracket is located in the center of the machine over by the rear sway bar directly below the exhaust tip. Trim the license plate according to your instruction manual. Install the trimmed license plate into the frame. Feed the wiring for the frame through the triangular opening on the right side of the bracket. Line up the holes on the license plate frame with the slots on the bumper. Install the hardware through the LED frame, license plate, and plastic bracket, and secure all three together using the rubber well nuts on the back side. Connect the power cable for the license plate to the mating connector on the driver's side taillight adapter. Run the cable down to the license plate frame, following the frame of the machine as closely as possible. Connect the power cable to the LED frame using the bullet connectors. Connect them red to red and black to black. Verify the connectors are fully snapped together and that the plastic insulation is fully covering each connection. Secure all wiring away from any hot or moving components with zip ties. Reassemble and test your signals.